Hello, welcome. Hello, hello, welcome. Hello, welcome, welcome. Hello, 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 welcome. <laughs> Gosh, this is the worst British accents you've ever heard. I, you're I, welcome. I, you're welcome. I, you're welcome. <laughs> you're fucking welcome. Oh, God, I love it. <laughs> Where are we? What's happening? Um, We are here together, and that's what matters. Oh, I love that you started. Christy was just saying she loves when I start shit. <laughs> yeah. And I said, like, what? And then I she love said, when fires. You, I, yes. <laughs> honestly, if I would be... You know what's really funny is I've never actually had physical fights. Have you? Where? How did we get from starting thing? Oh, I see. You I see. The, I see the connection. A fire. I, I've never started a fight. Have you? Oh, that's. A, have you ever been in a physical I, fight? Have you ever been hit? I have been slapped in the face. No, when, by when your, but besides your mom, Christy. Well, still. Well, we're not going there. <laughs> Sorry. That's, my God. Oh, so too early for this darkness. <laughs> uh, oh my God. No, no, no. I was slapped in the face by a girl in like middle school. Of yep. course, of yep. course. Yeah, I, I definitely got in middle school fights. I mean, I grew up in Belfast. Her name which was is, Jenna, and <gasps> then I stole her boyfriend. Oh my gosh, I love that. What good payback. That's Man, horrible. that that hit harder. I I'm am sure. vengeful. If there's anything that anyone will know about me. Oh God, good I to can, know. No, no, no. It, this is the, okay, so here's the thing. B- being vengeful mm-hmm. and Sicilian, that's kind of go hand in yes, hand. Yes, yes. Which I can sometimes wonder, like, why do these, this kind of stereotype, what does it play? Like, why? Uh-huh. I don't know, whatever. This one, it, it relates. So I try very hard to work through this because I am I don't want it to be that. I don't want to solely know that I have that in my spirit. Right, of course not. Um, so I'm trying very hard to not be that. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. There are people out there that know what I'm talking about, and they're folks that had to grow up with a vengeful heart. Oh gosh, Christy, I'm. So, I want you to change. I'm going <laughs> to try to get the yes, the the heartful side of you out. But more. here's the thing: what? three quarters of me is a very decent person. <laughs> Three I hope those three quarters are in your children. Three quarters, three quarters. Well, yeah, but kidding. then you know we've got we've got uh, an angry marine Irishman. Mm. He can get he can get real sassy. Oh yeah, real sassy. And Look, a vengeful Sicilian. So a this tough is household. why both of us don't don't drink, and we love our children, and we we are, we don't discipline them, and we love them and spoil them and take them to Target. <laughs> almost, almost daily. Wait, we are so breaking this, this, cycles. Gr- this girl, so so she hit oh, you, Jenna? And you and Jenna, yes. Oh God, okay. And you stole her boy? Did you? Well, say no, 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 no. I just think that it was one of those things where we were in middle school. Have you ever was... have you ever been cheated on? That's oh, really this what is I good. Know. This is, yes, yeah, this, is what we this relates. About. This relates to our amazing guest. Have you ever cheated or been cheated on? Okay, so I've been the other woman mm-hmm. in a really crazy scenario. Mm -hmm. And of course, like everyone's done everything, right? Like we've, we literally lived a million lifetimes. Mm -hmm. But the thing that I would like to share is I dated this French guy Uh uh, when Mm -hmm. I was in my early twenties, early, early twenties. And he had a dog. Okay. Okay. And he would come over and his dog would poop in my house. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I never knew why. And then there was this one day that I was hanging out with a friend. Her name was, shout out to Megan O'Shaughnessy. Okay. She's the most Irish name in the world. Yeah. And O'Shaughnessy. Course, and believe it or O'Brien. not, we were drinking beer. We were drinking beer sounds with like, Megan O'Shaughnessy. Sounds like that kind of story. And we were, and we were hanging out. And she's like, yeah, I'm, I'm just in town visiting my friend. She lives in the same complex as you. You see where this is going? Yes. And she's like, you know, she has this boyfriend and, and he's French and something, something. He drives motorcycles. Ooh. And I was like, is he French Moroccan? Is his name Kareem or something like that? Mm-hmm. I don't even remember the guy's name. I don't remember names, honey. <laughs> and, and so then I put two and two together and this motherfucker would go out to quote unquote walk his dog, but then come and see me. Oh, I see where this, okay. And okay. the dog took me did get walked on my carpet. Okay, do you miss the dog more than you miss the dog? Fuck that dog. <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> do you miss the bitch more than you miss the bitch? No, honestly, she was a beautiful woman. And this is the thing. Is, is these beautiful women, and then you see, like, this is the girl that he cheated on, and this is the guy. Oh, and yeah, that never matters. do that matters. a lot on social media where they, like, juxtapose the pictures. Yes, and, and have you ever been cheated on? I, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. And again, very vengeful. I have something I'm a to tell you. very vengeful person. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wait, what? <laughs> nothing, nothing. Oh, God. Oh, man, we have to cut to yes! break. No, speaking of break, when we come back, we yeah. have a fabulous I would be, guest. I would be proud to be an Eskimo sister with you. Aww. Do you know what this is? Yes, we like do this with our nose or something? No, 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 no. With Eskimo our sisters means we had, we had sex with the same person. Oh, I'm sure we have. Really? I could think of a few <gasps> Disney people. What? I'm going to say their names right Who now. Who did we have sex with? And we have to cut to break again. <laughs> Speaking of break, we have a fabulous guest coming up. Oh, oh my yes. gosh. And temptation yes. and all the things. That we, there there it, was a purpose for us talking about yes. that. Yes, temptation and cheating and sex and all of that stuff, um, which our guest is going Lord to know Jesus. a little bit about. Um, Mr. Mark <laughs> L. Wahlberg, television personality. Mark L. Wahlberg 
one of the busiest hosts in the industry. Mark is most widely recognized for his weekly appearances as the host of Antiques Roadshow, as well as the host of USA Network's hit reality show, Temptation Island. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. He is also the host of Price is Right Live and Let's Make a Deal Live. He's so amazing. And we, so amazing. If we've met before. I can't wait to get into it with him. I know. Yeah, we are. North Egg or South Egg? We're back. What? We, we never left. We are. We are. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're yeah. going to, we, Mark just decided we're going to talk in a New Atlantic accent. That's right. What is it called? Like 40 stars, Mid Atlantic, 40s. You know, sort of yes. like, like really fast talking like this. But I heard somewhere that that was that was not a real thing that people put that on. Oh. It was taught by the studios to emulate British accent to some degree, so you seem to be more erudite and smarter. It was taught in elocution by MGM and all oh, those how students. Interesting. So then people who were watching the movies wanted to do that, and That's so they right. did sound British, but they just it's well, sound like proper. very affected, like you yes. know this. I love that. Good diction. and That's yeah. Right. yeah, oh, I love that. And you do it really well. You really do. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's actually terrible. Oh. I mean, I, I feel like we all are trying to sound like Frasier, right? Like Kelsey yeah. Grammer in Frasier. Yeah. That's, that's what it sounds like to me. It always I sounds like a newsreel to me. Dateline Hollywood. Yes. <laughs> yeah, 2020. <laughs> yeah. Um, Mark L. Wahlberg. Yes, welcome thank you for to being here. Big Name Bitches. Yes. I love that you just didn't even flinch. You were like, yeah, sign me up. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. In, 100%. When I think of a big name bitch, I think of you, Mark. That's what I think of, honestly. Uh, he, does have, he does have a big name. I have a big name, but I'm his bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're it. really excited to talk to you about all things. Well, I mean, first of all, you're an amazing host. Mm, You've okay. done oh so gosh. many amazing things. So many things. I'm, I'm just reading here again. Temptation Island, and obviously. He should mentor us. Yes, he should. No. The fact that you do The Price is Right and Let's Make a Deal it's live insane. is insane. But my favorite How is down. Antiques Roadshow. I, I mean, I have a million questions about that. Okay. Uh, you must be so knowledgeable about antiques to be able no. to. No. Okay. Well, so and question answer. And I thank you, you for everything. I'll tell you what I tell people is that I was on that show for a decade or more. And the only thing I learned is that I don't own anything of value. <laughs> like, I don't know. And people come up to me all the time, and they're like, see me in the airport. And it's like the difference between you guys as famous actors mm -hmm. and a host. Because a host is like a little bit more like approachable. Yeah. So rather than going, can I get a picture? They walk up to me mid-sentence like, like we've hung out. <laughs> yes. And they're like, dude, I've got this watch my grandfather gave me. And I'm like, dude, I have no clue. <laughs> And Looks pretty like, nice no, to me. For real, though. <laughs> and so I'm like, it's worth 100 bucks. And I'll give you 100 for it right now. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that is so funny. So I bet people do that. Funny. Yeah, well, actually, you make a really good point, Mark, that, like, you know, hosting, from what I have observed, is that I've really enjoyed being a content creator nowadays and doing hosting and, like, podcasting right. or whatever. Because people, the, 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 the veil of celebrity is not there. Mm. So whether you're, you know relevant or scandalous or whatever it is. It's like, no, you're like of the people and people love to come up to you and well, have like genuine moments with you. Well, if you're hitting your marks as a host, um, in my opinion, mm -hmm. it's, all, it's all about authenticity. Mm. By the way, all things in life are about that, but I don't want to get too heady too early in this podcast. But the point is that authenticity makes you accessible. Mm -hmm. You're not playing a role of anybody. You're, and, and in most hosting situations, it's, you want, it's the person you want to have coffee with every day. Mm -hmm. So the more real you are, the better you are as a host. Mm -hmm. And the more you make it not about you and more about the content you're providing, the uh, more more effective you are. So 100%. the podcast world, now that you guys are being you, mm -hmm. you're letting us in, those of us who are fangirling the fuck out of you guys. Wait a minute. Stop it, you! Stop it, you! <laughs> no, you your children! No, I... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, that's, well, no, and it's, it this is. This is like my podcast bar mitzvah. This is big oh for God, me. You're so, it's, it's about staying interesting and interested at the same time. Absolutely. And but access. also as a host, we're starting to, you could still be authentic and not a good listener. And so Annalisa and what? I are, <laughs> you have to learn to listen, Annalisa. We, we have a guest. Sorry, come again? So <laughs> we have to learn to listen. I just think everyone needs to learn to listen oh, so much gosh. because we are so interested in our branding and our, and authenticity as a brand sometimes can get, I don't know, I don't know. I'm this, getting heady. See, this, I'm no, getting No, but heady. I can bring it right back. This is what Please. hosts do. I'm going to bring it right back to where we want to go. Mentor, number one. When I yep. start every season of Temptation Island, mm -hmm. and these contestants come on, and they're not contestants, these participants come People, on. Yeah. I ask them, either on camera or off camera, because it's blurry to me, I say, why are you here? And they give me the stock answer. We have issues with our relationship. We'd like to find answers, this, that, and the other. And I say, well, okay, 
I'll buy that, but I also think it's about collabs and clout and Instagram and all of that. Yeah, like call and, it what it is. And then I say, and I'm cool with all of it for two reasons. No One is, this show's going to get real quicker than you think. Mm. And two is, regardless of what you want, whether it's fame through social media or answers to your relationship, the same route is true. The more authentic and real you are, the more chance you're going to find answers. But the only people who really make it in the social media world, in my opinion, mm -hmm. are people who show the real them. That's mm -hmm. true. Now, we, now, something we were talking about is uh, the camera being in front of us and how that kind of is, we are trained actors. So right. it is hard to not, to like break the fourth wall mm -hmm. in a way. Our, our relationship to lenses is, is, is not unique. You access that person that you use for work mm -hmm. as opposed to the person that's off camera. And yeah. they're, they're compartmentalized. But what I'm learning, because I'm not the generation that's killing it at like the Gen Z level, mm -hmm. but I'm a student of them. Yeah. What I'm learning is they grew up in front of their own cameras all the time. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they don't have what we had. The that difference filter. between my work mark and, and right. real mark. Right, right, right. So and it's all about exposing everything, which to some of us is like, don't tell that stuff. That's not what people want. But in fact, it gives access. So speaking of um, real mark or work mark or host mark, you host so many things. How do you keep it interesting for yourself? And do you feel any pressure to be a sort of different version or several versions of mark as a different host? That I love that like, question. Okay. I really thank you for asking it. Oh, you're um, welcome. <laughs> because I thought about it a lot and I've talked about it a lot yeah. recently. And I think there's two things to that. One is um, I'm so grateful that regardless of the, the show I do, and I'll give you three as an example, there's uh, Antiques Roadshow, which has a certain demographic. Mm -hmm. There's Temptation Island, which has an entirely almost polar totally yeah. opposite demographic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And then there's game shows, right. nerdy stuff, yeah. right? Or talk shows or whatever. Mm -hmm. Different shows, different audiences, same me. Yeah, difficult. Maybe different aspect of me. Like, for instance, me with the boys on the golf course is still me, but might be a little bit different language. Me with you is a little bit different, yeah. but it's still me. And so that's my goal, and that's the honor the audience gives me when they are still kind of digging it. You must love people. Oh. Correct me if I'm wrong, but my husband's the kind of person who loves human behavior. Oh, that's I, actually great. Loves I think people. I love human behavior, and I, I have space for people. Mm. Um, I love people, but it's not like I love everyone. But getting back to the passion and different things – is something that I've kind of had to break down. What am I doing that's working and how did I get there so that I can share it? And what it is is I think I've learned early as a survival technique, actually. It's not that we're passionate about what we're passionate about and not about what we're not. Mm -hmm. But if we can be um, loving and generous, mm -hmm. we allows us access to be passionate about what you're passionate about. Ooh, ooh. So, for instance, in the Antiques Roadshow world, mm -hmm. we might be talking about an antique that I don't really give a shit about, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. But what I can access is that you do. Yes. And your joy and excitement is enough for me to have access. Like, why is that? I can have fun riding your ride. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's how I, like, for instance, on Temptation Island. Be a chameleon. Yeah, see, I yeah, can't I do that. On the energy of that person. I'm I, sorry. I just, I, I, and this is the problem, is that this is probably why I don't even take to, so, like, a ton of pleasure in acting anymore. It's like mm -hmm. I'm not a student of human behavior. I'm not interested in other people. Oh, are you kidding me? You're no, no, crazy. No. But it's okay. I feel like there's people out there that probably are like me and that they're kind of a little bit more introverted. I think maybe there's like, um, you know, I, I know that we, we all kind of need to feel like we need to be super accommodating to everyone. But for me, it's like, I feel like I've let my energy out a lot in life mm -hmm. and now I'm more about conserving it. And also I love protecting. That, yeah, is that okay? Oh. Well, first of all, I'm a game show Mark host. Mark tells me it's okay. <laughs> I'm not a therapist, but I seem to find this role a lot. I was going to okay. say. But my take on it, if you want it, I'll give you my take. Yes, I do. My take is there's some beauty in what you said. What you've done is given up the years as a child when you're still trying to figure it out, when you're forced to be an adult, mm -hmm. you're giving up the people-pleasing aspect of what you've been forced to do. Mm -hmm. And in that, you are real, and therefore it's not that you hate people and we don't get that vibe, you're just being you and you're not spending your, you're, you're valuing you. You're giving yourself agency. Mm. Absolutely. Right? I, I, I thank you. Thank you, you must for be in he's, therapy. He's you, you are so, you're so best. empathetic and we empathetic. Love empathetic. Yes, you're. You, well, you, we could talk about empathy too. Yeah. Because Gen Z loves to talk about being an empath like it's a cool thing, uh -huh. like almost like um, as good as the blue check mark. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh, <laughs> that's right? Funny. Yeah. And I, people say, oh, you're an empath. You're an empath. Well, well yeah, I am. 
But my empathic nature is out of survival and fear. You've mentioned this before. What what, what was that from? Like survival? I grew up in the Deep South. Got it. I was Where in the Deep South North again? North Carolina, South Carolina. South Carolina. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's Deep South. Um, and most of this is between my ears. The truth is I don't think anybody really bullied me or anything. I just had fear about it. Mm -hmm. I wasn't a big dude, and life was a little random. My, my parents worked, so I was home alone a lot. And, my, and what, what empathy is, being an empath is, is sensing other people's vibe in the room. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Being keenly aware of what they're feeling. And that's really to suss out danger. It, it then becomes, when you can get back centered, it becomes this really beautiful thing where you can let people know you see and hear them. Yes, that you right. put yourself in their shoes and that you know where they're coming from. That right. you really understand where they're coming from. You're not just saying it. You actually can feel it. And you also married an actress yes. who had also been a child actor, might I add. Yes, and, and, tell and us about this. Yeah, yes. please do, because that's how we met. Yes, we did. <laughs> um, so I was a singing waiter. Sing something for us! I, don't make me sing. Don't make me sing. <laughs> don't make me sing. Uh, no, One, I don't two, think three, it's good four. for America. Happy birthday to you. I really can't. Oh, uh, we should. We should sing happy birthday don't to you. Don't make me dance. Don't, don't make me dance. dance. I know your daughter. Band kick. Um, all right, so I, I was a guy without any kind of focus. The singing, dancing group came through. I auditioned. I ended up coming to California. I thought I was going to be like the musical theater dude. Mm. I've later seen tape you're of it. You're way too cool to be a musical Well, theater now dude. you're too cool. Well, too I'm rich. Not. Too rich to go join the band. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That is true. That is true. He's, I, no one knows this if they're not watching. He's wearing a very expensive looking, fantastic linen his shirt. Wife bought it's a button it down. on sale for what, Father's, Father's Day. Day. How sweet is that? Shout out to the wife. Yes. Buck Mason, if you want to hook me up. Mm, yeah. Buck I can Mason. afford your clothes Buck by Dick Mason. Dig Sponsor. Um, yeah. Right uh, so. Make a long story short, I thought I was going to be great. I've recently seen tape of me performing back then when I thought I was good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I wanted to call the director and say, how did you do this to America? <laughs> like, you have a responsibility. Yeah, what? And you've, you've let that go. Yeah. Anyway, singing, dancing, waiter. My wife's in the audience, and she was hot. Mm -hmm. And um, I wanted to hook up. Mm -hmm. And uh, like Temptation <laughs> Island style, it was a straight, straight like Temptation Table Tempt number nine. <laughs> and I always tell the story that she gave me her number, but she didn't like we didn't hook up that night. Right. So I married her. Nice Aww. I love that. Is it? You must travel so much. Is it hard being away from her or your family? <sighs> when I was traveling a lot, mm -hmm. like Antiques Roadshow days, it was really hard. I kind of lost myself there. And I had to kind of get back to what we're talking about, like getting back to like my authentic who I am. Okay. Mm. What and do you mean? Oh, can I ask? Like, lost yourself? Like? Yeah. Sure. I was traveling all the time doing antiques roadshow. I wasn't happy with the work I was doing. I was being a, a conversation of being a victim, like it's other people's fault. I don't get to do what I want. They're not seeing me. Blah, 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 blah. I wasn't making particularly a lot of money, and my and things were starting to. Um, man, this is much deeper than I thought. Things were starting to show up. <laughs> So I was a little bit like on the road. I could be that guy we talk about, like yeah. the on-camera guy. Yeah. And I'd come home and my wife would say, I love TVs, Mark Wahlberg, but this guy on the couch I have no time for. Mm -hmm. And it got to the point where I'm like, I got to make a shift. And that's where I said, uh, I kind of, it was in my backyard and I had this epiphany. I'm like, I'm identifying like I'm a TV guy. Mm -hmm. But at this point I hadn't been on Antiques Roadshow and I hadn't worked in TV for a few years. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you're living a lie. Mm -hmm. So I decided I quit. I'm not that. I'm just going to do me mm -hmm. and get back to this. And not two weeks later, did I get a call saying, hey, the Temptation Island's coming back. And I'm that's like, that's going to ruin my career again. <laughs> <laughs> but back to now travel. So now I'm at a place where I don't travel without my wife. My kids are grown. Mm -hmm. And I'm certainly not going to Temptation Island where everybody's gorgeous and naked. <laughs> and, and, and DTF. Yeah. Yes, I, got, I had to ask about that. What's that like? I, yeah, mean, I imagine yeah. it's exhilarating, but also uncomfortable. Well, and thank God. I don't see a lot of that. Do you not? Okay. No. Oh, that's so such my a bummer. Process, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, I watch but you TV. do get a probably, he probably does get a bird's eye view from when he's talking to them. Is everybody like just a, crazy? So Are they their real names? Is it real? I mean, I wonder this about Bachelor There's a lot of questions on Elisa. Like, I wonder it to this day. Yes. Is it BS? <laughs> is it real? What's happening? How old am I? Where am I Elisa, let him talk. I don't know. But I'm willing to hold you until you figure it out. <laughs> uh, so my process you. on the show is like when people kind of get surprised. It's like um, I have this incredible executive producer. She's really authentic and really wants, like, even though we're creating this messy reality show, her line is we want everybody to leave the island in a better place than they came. I, I buy that. Yeah. So my situation is 
I don't need to see anything. So when I go into the bonfires where we're having these big discussions, yes. I'm seeing the clips for the first time. Okay. And we've had literally no briefing about it. Oh, jeez. Okay. And the only thing that's sort of prepared is like when you see me do like a set piece, you know, welcome to the island, you're going to have four choices and da 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 But everything else is, you know, off the hip and... And I don't watch any of the reality. I'm not say, hanging do they, out. Do they warn you? Do they say, hey, just so you know, we're, we're about to go in the bonfire. We have these clips, but so-and-so and so-and-so did something really bad. And then, or is there no trigger warning for you? You watch think, the clips you know, and then you're like, oh my God, this it, is awful. There, there's, a, there's a hot sheet that goes out every day to producers <laughs> letting people know what's going on. And I read it. So I have an understanding of like who's interested in who. Okay. But I'm not looking at footage. I really try not to, even if they give me a hint of what's in the clip, like they'll say like, Vanessa's going to get hit tonight. It's going to be rough. Mm. But we don't do a formal meeting anymore about it. Mm. Like, literally, our language, my executive producer, Trafari, and I, is like, literally, we'll take a minute and kind of just connect. And she's like, you good? And I'm like, I'm good. And she says, I got you. And I'm like, I got you. Oh, yeah. And then we go do it. Because you probably well, that's take so authentic. On, I mean, yeah. that seems like it would. It's a risk for producers to take. And I want to make a point to say how grateful I am in that. Mm. Is that you got to trust, trust you. your host. But for me to do my thing, I got to trust them. Mm. So I know if I'm missing a beat, I've got an earpiece. They can say, hey, what about this? But mostly, we're not talking in that world because I'm in it with you. Well, I'm, I'm taking a lesson that we should trust our producers more. Sorry, <laughs> sorry Dylan. We appreciate you. Aw. We're Look, very hands-on. For me, the best way for me to access the stuff that works for me is that I got to buy what I'm selling. Mm. I got to really take a moment to care about the people who are there, mm -hmm. and I do more than probably I should. Mm -hmm. And um, you're invested. And then I trust that we're going to have something to talk about. Yes. I'm, let's get more specific too about like contestants and stuff like I that. Know. Has there ever been a serious letdown for you, mm -hmm. like during Temptation? Like, has there ever and ever, ever been somebody you're like, wow, I really wanted this to work out for them, mm. and it didn't? Great question. Uh, and name names if you feel like it. <laughs> uh, well, hard to name names. I'll tell you this. Okay. I, it, it breaks my heart when their hearts are breaking. Oh. Really. Of course, of course. And, and so that's difficult. And But what I, by the way, being a dad breaks your heart every day too. Hmm. You're only as happy as your happiest kid. Hmm. So it, oh, it's very sad. I know. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> right. So, but what you learn, what you try to learn is that heartbreak and joy and anger and frustration you get to have all of those, and you don't have to be scared of any of those. Mm. So if you're going to have really bad information given to you and you're going to be grappling with some stuff and your heart's going to break, I don't mind being the guy that rides the ride with you. Mm. And let's talk about it. And, have have and, you ever done ayahuasca or something? Like, I feel like you're... I'm high like, right now. No, I'm just <laughs> yes. I was like, you just seem so, like... Uh, yeah, in tune with the world and the earth I and know, yourself. Because, like, look, we're sober. Authenticity, accountability, that's something that we... we I know that, that that's, like, in us. Are you sober, sober? Yeah, yeah. My wife's 39 years sober. Oh, wow. So a lot of who I am is because her journey... Yeah, and anybody who knows anything about 12-step um, or, yeah, yeah. or, or addiction Program. knows that the person yeah. who's in the relationship with the alcoholic yes, is, in, is uh, also in it. Anonymous or, I mean, um, mm -hmm. Al Anon is the program sorry. for <laughs> yes. them. Mm -hmm. But the point is, her journey has been my journey. Mm -hmm. And I joke all the time, but it's not really a joke. Anytime I say something that's like wicked great, mm -hmm. there's probably something she forced me to hear mm -hmm. that I yelled at her about, like, don't give me that bullshit. And then I, I co-opted on TV and go, yeah, that's my shit. I feel like your wife is right here with us, and that's like a good sign of a good husband. That's I know. for sure. I, let, let me ask you this. I want to know, what's the most fabulous place you've been to that you've traveled because of this show? And what are the digs like? What's What are the hotels like? Are they lovely? Are they nice? My my uh, setup is pretty fucking great. I bet. I bet. I want to ah! know about it. What is there just gold <laughs> everywhere? When you walk in, there's champagne. No. There's... no. Not my vibe, but, but it there's could be. There's Velvet. Shirts. He's like, hung up in the closet. Oh, my gosh. Here's what's up. The show's been shot in Hawaii. Uh, four years in Maui and one season in Big Island. Okay. Um, and they've been great to me. Um, either a condo, the first couple of years, condo where we were all staying, but mm -hmm. it's on the beach. Look, it's Maui. Mm -hmm. And part of my deal is I get to bring my wife. Mm -hmm. I'm not I was going to say, did she come? Yeah. That's a funny story, but yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we'd like to know it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so, um, but a lot of times I've got like this, you know, suite or condo on the water. And my gig is they need me when they need me, but when they don't need me, I'm not doing homework or watching, so I'm hanging out with my wife or I'm playing golf or 
Really or, dream there's jobs. a balance. Making bad dream choices. Job. I don't know. <laughs> and so, like, the digs are far greater than I would expect, but they're not, it's not like we're staying at the Ritz. Right, 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 right. But okay. they treat me great. Of course. And so you love your job. I love my job, yeah, man. Oh, you can tell. You can t- Do you ever miss character development, scene study, the technique of it all as an actor? Because I, I really d- can hear how, what a wonderful singer I, you are. I can't uh, wait to see. I can't wait ever, to see because I feel like Is that like crazy? Right and now. I know your wife's an actress, so she, she must be doing things that inspire you. Or are you just totally, you're, you're, the best character you've played is yourself, and that's all you want to do. I I only recently. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's drinking their mom. Okay, okay, let's let's the the cheers way. to this. Cheers. You're cheers just so lovely. To your wife and to you, Mark yes, Elwaber. Yes, and to your two lovely children that sound very talented as well. Thank you. Oh, obsessed um, with this entire. Yeah, they're, they're pretty great. Yeah, I, ballerina. I was going to adopt him, but now I think I want him to adopt me. <laughs> let's just live in happiness all together in one I, condo. I, I let's go. That. Let's go well, to Maui. Speaking of roles and characters, we could do our own show. Like, yes. come on, I gotta do We've been waiting for you. I no, just just kidding. But do you will you do will you ever audition for like a movie again or something? I or? just did a movie for the first time. Oh, excuse my ignorance. So, so no, no, no ignorance because nobody knows. And I was playing. It was kind of like playing a smarmy version of me. It's like it's a it's a send up of an antique trojo type show. Oh, Ooh. fun! And I'm the host of it, but I'm a little bit of a drinker and yeah. not a great guy. I love it. So that and then That's there was another gig part. I did that was on um, Netflix. It was an acting gig, but that was just typical in my life, like nothing's to the front door. So I play a lot of basketball. Mm-hmm. And one of the guys I play basketball with is a pretty big writer and producer and came up with this show with another basketball friend of mine called Sneakerheads, mm-hmm. which is all about the sneakerhead yes, uh, world. Yeah. Well, it was on Netflix a, a few years ago, oh, but I get a call one night going, yo, Mark, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm in my backyard growing my vegetables. You know, growing my Yes, thing. your DIY stuff, your uh, garden is gorgeous. Just caricature of myself at this point. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, I love and, it. Uh-huh. And they said, look, we want you to do this thing, and they explain it. We're doing this thing about sneakers. The whole thing ends up where they're trying to find this one pair of sneakers. The actor Mark Wahlberg has them at his mansion. Wait, wait, wait. The, oh, I love this. I know where this is heading. Well, you got to get that after all these years, I've done everything I can never to, like, steal his thunder or try to be in that world. Try to bust like, my card because you're coming up. No, I mean, like, any times, <laughs> like, you know, I could have played that joke all the time, and I, like, really try not to. Of course not. But at this time, so they said, what we did is we reached out to him, and we think he's going to do it, but we thought it'd be kind of a meta joke if, like, the scenes he couldn't do, you do, and we never pay him off, and you just show up, and That's it's like, funny. and nobody gets it. That's funny. So I'm like, yeah, whatever. And I'm thinking student film because these are my boys, but I don't realize they're huge in the business. Ah! <laughs> we just play so basketball together. I get the script. I don't read it, and I don't prepare, and I'm not an actor, and... <laughs> And then I've got this red eye to set, and I'm really expecting it to be like a van in the back of somebody's yard. And I show up, and it's like base camp and trailers, mm-hmm. and I panic. Mm-hmm. And then... And yeah, what the hell were you thinking, Mark? What, what, right. what were you thinking? So now I start reading the script in my yeah. dressing room, and it's 25 pages of dialogue. Oh, God. oh my gosh. Like, where's the teleprompter? Is there like, a teleprompter? <laughs> exactly. So it's like 8 in the morning. I'm like, yeah, but they won't need me till like 2.30. I can learn this by then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get in the trailer immediately. We need you now. Oh, my God. The first scene, they want me without a shirt. Oh! And I said, look, this is obviously written for Mark Wahlberg, right. and you haven't Never. given the revision pages, because I know both of the producers who have seen me with my shirt off, and there's no effing way that's, so. they're down. Yeah. No, this is you. So now I've thrown into being Mark Wahlberg. And, and doing this thing. <laughs> did it. It was funny. Kind of did my thing. Yeah. Survival. Yeah. I, I, I remember sitting there going, either I, I leave right now and ruin my career and Screw my friends. Yeah. <laughs> or I have to lean into it like full Will Ferrell. I just got to go there. Right, 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 right. Wow. And I did it, and the show was a big hit on Netflix. And So the answer is, look, I'm not an actor. I've had a couple chances. I'd be down to do it. Mm-hmm. I, I like the exercises new to me, mm-hmm. like playing something other than or finding the, finding the authenticity in it. Yeah. The empathy for the character you're playing, right. why they do the what they character, do. The character, right. But I would have to be your student in how that process works. Mm-hmm. So um, I've only played in that arena a little bit. It's not it's not my jam, but I'm yeah. down. Well, yeah. What is your jam? What, what's the dream job? The dr- I mean, you already have it. Yeah. I think the it. dream job, hmm. well, I'm going to get heady with you. Okay. The dream job is that every job is your choice, whether it's the dream job or not. And what I have right now is... God, if only I had that choice. Well, you didn't have that choice. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If only Christy gave me that just, choice. Yeah. Why? Please. No, I'm sorry to... 
steal the headiness of she's, something serious that you were going to no, say. No, it's good she's to undercut it. She's a peacock. It. Let her fly. Let her, let her fly. I would love to see her She made feathers. me do this podcast. Yes, I did. Not at all. I Where have so her love. nudes. I see you sending me distressing. Yeah, she's blinking SOS. I, I have her nudes, and she must do a <laughs> podco. <laughs> <laughs> no, but tell us. So, learn me something. So here's, here's what I'm trying to figure out. Is like, it's funny how um, the things you think you're meant to be or get called to do mm-hmm. are rarely in the package you thought they'd be in. Mm. So, like, there's comedy me. I, I'm like, I like to do that stuff and whatever. But the me around the house is a lot of this kind of talk. Mm-hmm. Maybe not this heavy all the time, right? <laughs> but I never would have thought that Temptation Island would be the place where I'm actually getting to do the most authentic work I've ever had to do. Oh. And people are hearing it because there's a whole generation of, like, and this is what I'm trying to tell people my age. When you're talking about, oh, their hands are in their phone, these young people. You, you like, really love uh, Gen Z. Let me explain like. why. Mm-hmm, please. What I've realized is they've had to run the gauntlet on sexism, racism, genderism, oh, gosh, uh, transphobia, blah, 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 blah. Environmental. Blah, blah. Whatever. They've had to do all of that. They're not, they're not about it. They, like, understand chaos. And yeah. they also inherited their parents' way of doing business. So real estate broker, um, uh, insurance broker, car dealership, all of those are apps now. We go to CarMax, buy a car, I don't need the drama. Mm-hmm. I, you know, right? The whole thing to me, what I've learned from Gen Z is, they care about one thing. Are you full of shit or are you not full of shit? Mm. Right? Are you hustling me or are we good? I don't care what your hair looks like. I don't care what your clothes are. I don't care what your tribe mm-hmm. is. Mm-hmm. Are we real or are we not? Mm-hmm. And that to me is really powerful. Mm. Even the even the slang of Gen Z is emotional intelligence slang. Mm-hmm. We don't say "I love your outfit." We say "It's giving." Yeah. Or but I'm we do. Feeling. And by the way, yes. we do need to we do need Those to acknowledge that that is coming from AAV, African American vernacular, and it was also uh, uh, used by the drag community, specifically the African American drag community. So if we are getting specific about it, yes. which I, by the way speaks to my point, which is. <laughs> The Im- <laughs> rather than the fear of culture, other cultures, right. which my generation propagates, mm-hmm. it's the not even acceptance of, but the seeing of. Mm-hmm. It's the like acknowledgement it's of. like not colonization. It's like paying homage and honoring something and giving it new life and blurring the lines between one culture and the other. We get to be and we get to celebrate each other's cultures, and we have to be careful that we're not. Um, uh, What's the word? Appropriating. Appropriating. I know all the words, guys. Right. You do. I know all really the, these hoops. I know. I just know just all. Back. <laughs> I know. I'm just sitting back. <laughs> Those are the circle. Of <laughs> the circle of growth. Yes. I know it all. So you I mean, so hopeful, no, but like so wonderful. Like I want to. Have, like this is the kind of dad. Yo, you know, you do have you? a choice. You can either look at how we're fucked or how we're not. Mm-hmm. Right. 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 And and you have young children. You have to have. A, no, no, they're not young. Grown. One's they're in grown. the navy. What? But. So Wait, are we allowed to say so that? Is that okay? 28's not Gen Z. I never know. 28, 31. Mm-hmm. They're millennials. You know, I think. How do you? Okay, learn. here we go. How do you know if somebody's going to cheat? And then we got to do our our, Ooh, our, our things. How do you know if somebody's oh, going to I, cheat oh, on yeah, Temptation Island I don't. or in general? You're, yeah, you're you're. But you're, I'll tell you what I think. You're on the beach. That. You're on the water no, with your wife. No, I don't know when I talk to them who's going to cheat and who isn't. Okay. And I don't know who's going to stay together and who isn't because, and I kind of this might be spin, but I think this might be true. Because who they are as a couple when they arrive is not who they are when they leave. Mm-hmm. So how could you predict? Because if there's an evolution or devolution of their personality uh-huh. through the experience. Mm-hmm. They're not the same people. I even said to them this season, I said, I know you're wondering if you're, this is going to last or you're going to break up. But I'm going to suggest that you've already broken up right now. Because you're now going to be individuals. Mm-hmm. And at the end of that process, you'll be new people. And you'll either find each other and love one another mm-hmm. as a new couple. Mm-hmm. Or you won't. How yes. often? How often and would you say you, that you happens? Your answers. How often do they stay together? How often do you think they leave a better couple? Not often. Okay. Often they. Uh, but as I also say to them, I'm like, so that you know, I'm rooting for you, all of you, mm-hmm. all eight of you, not all four couples. Mm. Individuals. Yes. You know why? Because, because yeah, you die to- alone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Hold Thank on. you, Mark. Wait, we got to do the thing. Some, some rapid. Well, Ready? it doesn't have to be rapid fire, but yes. how often do you floss? Every day. And now. I can tell. There's tea floss. Oh, I bought teeth. these. I bought these. And I, yes. can, and I get trolled for them all the time. But let's just get I didn't real. notice that you had veneers. They're not veneers. They're oh. like. 
BMW's level of like it's a technology that exists what only you like I in want it? in space. Okay, I love it. I love but it. So they're not veneers. The Got it. I bro- grew up broke. My parents couldn't afford braces. I was self-conscious about my teeth forever. I don't care that they look like chiclets. They make me happy. I smile more. Dude, oh, I've got a great, great smile. You're a great smile. Fuck the haters. I bought See them. the door. I bought the smile See season two. See the door. They are your teeth. You purchase them. Okay, yeah. my turn, my turn, my turn, my turn. In another life, you'd be? Probably, well, my kids say I'd probably just be a teacher. Aw. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. I thought I'd be like something really exciting, but they're like, that we're just exciting. probably like teach history or something. Aww. That's the most exciting thing. I think, I think so. The, the way to win me over is, I'm interested in Way to win me you over? You over, yeah. Um, what, do I, what, what do we got to do? Uh, you've, already, you've already done it. I think we have. You had me at he podcast. <laughs> uh, I think the way anyone wins anyone over, how about that? Authenticity. No, no, okay. I swear to God, if you say authenticity <laughs> one more time, I'm going to punch you I'm in the not. face. I'm going to tell you, in my opinion, the only thing that matters is humans. We just want to be seen. Oh. That's it. Yeah. You don't have to tell me why. You don't have to fix me. You don't have to mm. validate me. You just got to let me know that you know I exist and I'm relevant. I wish you were my Disney Channel dad. I I, I wish I was your Disney Channel so dad, too, because <laughs> you could use the residuals. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. and speaking of Disney, who's your favorite Disney character? Oh, in front of the two of you. Oh, yeah. Disney character? No, like not classic? either one of us. It could be, oh, yeah. Like just classic like, Disney character? Yeah, any. Because character. Raven and was a favorite of mine. Oh, or like a you know a Disney movie character, mm. princess, I prince. To, you I don't like have to care. Who cares about Disney? It was I do. So we well. on the big main pictures. I worked at Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's fine, but you know what I'm saying. I worked at Disneyland for uh, a year. Let's oh, did you? Yeah. Oh you God, did. Are we allowed to ask cards? one of these raunchy ones? Go what's ahead. your What's your definition of amazing sex? Um, well, with his wife. Of course, well, it's a trick question. Of course. Any sex that I'm involved in. Okay, yeah, I love that. I knew it would be a great Consensual answer. Consensual sex. Yes, yes. Consensual that is sex. amazing. Where I'm actually a participant. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's amazing yes. to me. I love yeah, that. Yeah, good. Yeah, like that. sex. Even bad sex, if I'm in it, is amazing. <laughs> it's so, like pizza. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you cannot no go thing. wrong. Right. I love that. Ask him one more. Okay, 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 okay. Please don't let this be over. No. Aww. You're so sweet. Really? Okay, what, what gives you... Big name bitch energy. What makes you feel like your most fabulous? I, by the way, so. I big name bitch is not uh, gender specific. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I guess you're right. Right? I, I, Can't yeah. I be big that a little bitch? bitch? Yeah, no, you're right. Uh, and you do have three, Markel four Wahlberg. Names. You can be anything yeah. you want. Yes, you do have a big name. Thank you. No, well, I have a big name. That's yeah, for sure. Just it's like not us. Mine, but it's you're one of name. us. You know, I think uh, I think you know when my kids or my kids' friends want to hang out. Mm-hmm. That, I think, is a flex for me. Yeah. That, to me, is where my swagger comes from. When I'm still, like, they're, like, down to have me in the room, mm-hmm. that's that's a flex. You feel like the shit. I, right. Of course. Of course, yeah. cool dad vibes. Yeah, yeah. You, exactly. You feel that, you're going to feel that way when your girls I, get older. I, 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 you're absolutely right. I want to be you. Um, and uh, uh, we are so, we're so uh, grateful that you came. This was a blast. Thank you, you have for, such a zest for life. It's yeah. infectious. It Thank really you is. for infecting us today. Well, I'm pretty Pretty pumped to be here. <laughs> so, Good. What do we do? Let's do some TikTok, some videos together. So I, I have no idea. Well, thanks, well you got to remember. <laughs> hold on. Okay. So I'm a dad of kids about your age, I guess, right? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Who grew up watching you two. So okay. Millennials, yeah, not Gen Z. Right. Millennials. But I'm that dad who didn't go to work every day. Mm-hmm. So I was there hanging out, watching with them. So he, let's see, he saw us. I love yes. that. I love that. Yeah. Well, yeah. We were growing up become. with us while we were growing up. That's right. Together. We Somehow we get that it. in every episode. Every episode. <laughs> every fucking episode. Thank you, Mark Wahlberg. And Thank we you. will see you on, te- well, we won't see you on Temptation Island, but we will see you. I will. Yeah. <laughs> well, I will. You're going straight there. I'll be watching. I love Please watch. That. <laughs> we do. I do. I watch it all. I love I love it. Are you watch. excited about the big D or is that, does that have nothing to do with you? Do you, do no, you see I, JoJo? Or? I met JoJo uh-huh. and I met Jordan mm-hmm. and uh, kind of got a little starstruck with them too. I would too. Because Bachelor, yeah. first of all, and him and his brother, and they're beautiful. Mm-hmm. Like just the specimen of them. It's like watching. It's like going on safari and watching a majestic creature walk across the <laughs> plains. Yeah, yeah, like look at them. <laughs> yeah, and so there's that, and uh, and I like them. And now yeah. we kind of keep in touch Aww. because I know people. <laughs> it's um, a flex. And so yeah, and I'm rooting for them. I want their show to be successful. I think they're great on it. I think it's. Uh, I watched the uh, first episode. I I'm watching it as it airs, and mm-hmm. it was fun. Um, but I. Back to my show. Yeah. Um, I think this season's kind of going to go nuts. Oh, cool. Okay, I'm going to watch it. We're going to watch it. We're going to support. And then what what day and time and all that? Wednesdays at 9 on USA. 
uh, on Peacock the next day. Mm -hmm. And you're on social media? I People can follow you. Both of my followers. Join my two followers. I'd love to have you. Hey, I got a garden. I want a garden with you. Yes. That's my, but well, see, that's my thing. Yeah. I know. I oh, grow. Green beans. It's mine too. I grow I love stuff. It. I love. I know. It's I didn't know that. Oh, yes, I'm obsessed. If there's a zombie apocalypse, that. you need to get to my backyard. No, you need to move to Austin, like yeah, I every, did in every 2020. Every vegetable, every fruit you could ever. I have every vegetable. <laughs> I have a still, and I made moonshine. Oh wow, he really <gasps> is. I made my own yeah. bourbon. Wow. I pickle stuff. Well, wow. We can't drink that. I don't do that. Yeah. But but still, that's you great. could pickle. No, by the way, like pickles. My wife's sober, and I don't drink. There you go. Much. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. It was just a hobby. hobby. I mean, I just if it was the apocalypse, yeah, exactly. I probably would drink, to be honest. With oh, if it was the end of times, it. absolutely. Get <laughs> me a mint julep <laughs> ASAP. Are you joking? A oh, Cadillac uh, Margarita. Now. Thank you very Thank you, Mark. much, Mark. Thank you we so love much. You. We love you. I, I love you, too. Thanks for hanging, you big name bitch. Now come back next Thursday so we can do it all again. 